crash today. Horrific motorbike accident, Adelaide, South Australia. I think the guy's all right, though. Car driver's still inside, not sure what's going on. There's a guy on top of the car. Motorcyclist, I would say, maybe have a more of a fluoro jacket on. It's pretty dangerous riding a motorbike, pretty dangerous in general. Cars kill a lot of people, millions of people die every year from car accidents, so be careful out there. Wear bright stuff. So my goal of this video is to just highlight awareness, driver awareness. Maybe paint your mo motorbike fluoro yellow or something. But uh, just, yeah, pay attention. I'm not sure exactly what happened in the accident here, I'm not sure who's at fault. But I caught it on camera, and uh, so I did a little uh, TV camera person across the road as well. Police on the scene pretty quick. And uh, we have some good Samaritans there helping out. Got the guy in the, with the next support there. Fireys are on the scene pretty quick. Actually, there uh, before the police are supposed to hear, probably recognize the YouTube. Do not a fuck off. Actually, this a police officer asked me to take my camera down. He didn't know the law. Had to school the police officer. It is legal to film in public, police or public otherwise. Police behaviour in this incident is now under investigation, but what were the rights of the person filming? Oh, I know it's not against the law. Right? It's not against the law. Good. It's not it's against the law. Right? Well, I don't have to. Good. Well, what are you, what do you mean? What are you filming for? Uh, because I'm allowed to? No, you're not. The person here stood their ground, but were they right? Uh, unfortunately shows a degree of naivety uh, of the police involved who made those comments. We understand and accept and in fact we support the right of the community to film uh, anyone in a public space. In an era where almost everyone has a camera on their mobile phone, this issue has arisen time and again. In 2007, tourists were ordered to delete photos they'd taken of a five kilometre long fence being erected across the city for APEC. And in 2008, police confiscated the mobile phone of a Sydney man after he filmed them during a drug operation in King's Cross. So what are your legal rights when filming? Filming police is no different to filming anyone else on the street, the public have the right to take photographs or film police officers and incidents involving police officers which are observable from a public place. You'll often find that police in the heat of the moment make requests or demands or directions that aren't really based in law. Police don't necessarily like it, but if you speak to um, police outside of the heat of the moment, they'll tell you, as the law says, that there's no prohibition on it. Our police again need to be mature enough to know that everyone on the street basically has a mobile phone with camera facility and they are going to be filmed and recorded. So there you go, it's legal to film police or public in public place. Someone else said, don't film, and it's like, well, let me come to your work and heckle you. And someone said, well, that's not a good job what you've got YouTube, look, just because I earned three times more than you in the financial year of 2015, don't be jealous. Don't get jealous. I love these people who say, YouTube's not a real job. I hate Dune Rider because he earns three times more than me and he gets to do whatever the fuck he wants to do every day. Fuck you, Dune Rider. Passive aggressive hate is going to hate. And uh, so, yes, there's a scene that sort of cordoned it off, asked for witnesses. And uh, a lot of cops in Australia are British and they're pretty good. Listen to this British guy. Listen, listen. Uh, nah, we just came here after it. Anyone, anyone here to see what happens? No problem. Motorbikes around the corner. Yeah, oh yeah, British cops are so friendly. Australian fucking law says you're allowed to film a police officer or a public person in public property. Because if you're walking down the street and you whip out your fucking iPhone to film something, no one can do fuck all. No one can say otherwise. That's the law. Fucking new uh, police commissioner Mark Murdoch got your fucking back. So if anyone says please stop filming, it's like, well, no, that's my luck. Legal right. If you don't like it, get fucked. Otherwise, let me get back to my work. And if you want to continue to heckle me, let me know where the fuck you work. I'll come and fucking heckle you with some passive aggressive hater stance. And just because I earn three times more than you, and I don't have a real job because YouTube's not real, then that's not my problem. Go back to your nine to five job that you fucking hate to buy shit you don't need to impress people you don't even really like. That's not my problem, it's your problem, so deal with it.